Hi everyone, I want to record another video. This is a new video for 2024 edition. It's been a while since I recorded any videos for this course. And the reason I'm doing this is I want to show you this amazing tool, this amazing service called GitHub Code Spaces. It's amazing for many reasons, but one of them is it requires almost no configuration. You just have a remote environment with almost everything we need. We, of course, need to install a few more things there, and I want to show you in this video how we want, how we can do that. So, uh, right now, I will create a new repository in GitHub, and I can call it Machine Learning Zoom Camp Homework, right, or like whatever other name. Um, so, this will be the repository where we put homework, so later, uh, you can when you submit your homework, you can use uh, the, um, you can use it, right? So then we add readme file. It should be public, and then git ignore. Let's say Python, and we create a repository. So now the repository is there, and we go to code. Um, well, there are two options: local and code spaces. We're interested in code spaces, so I create code space on main. And right now it's going to create a Visual Studio Code instance within your browser. Um, I don't like using the browser. Uh, of course you can use it, like there, there are no problems, it should just work from the browser. Uh, I have Visual Studio Desktop and I typically use that. So if you also have Visual Studio Desktop, you can uh, open it by clicking here in the corner, open in VS Code Desktop. And then you just click here and you can close this one. Uh, is it actually opening? Yeah, I think this is opening. So yeah, it's uh, setting up some stuff. And it's ready, so we can do whatever we want. So it feels like we are developing locally. We can say like, hello world, um, and everything we do here. So for example, right now, if we look, so I, pro I pressed control tilde to open the terminal. There is probably another way to see terminal. Yeah, view terminal, right. Um, and then like, this is just a usual file system. This is the remote uh, Ubuntu machine. I think it's Ubuntu or this is some Linux. Where if you do git status, because I changed uh, readme file, now it says modified. And I can do git commit am um, readme change, right? Uh, it should be, oops. What I also like doing is you see that this line is pretty long so i don't really see the command i type so what i can do is this ps then just uh, greater than sign in uh, quotes and then our prompt here becomes this small thing right so now there is more space to actually see the input git commit am did me update and now I just do git push. And what we just did, we updated the readme file. We can see that we pushed successfully it to GitHub. Uh, right now, let's install the libraries we need. For that, we'll use pip, pip install. We, we need to do, we need to use Jupyter. We need to use NumPy. We need pandas. We need uh, scikit-learn. Uh, what else we need? Seaborn. Seaborn is a library for visualization. We have uh, a list of libraries here. I think I mentioned I had all of them. Later, we will need XGBoost and TensorFlow, but this is ex exactly how you install them too. So right now should be pretty fast. And now we have all the libraries we need, at least for the first five modules or four, four modules. Yeah. Um, and right now we can start our Jupyter notebook. 
Oops, not the no the book. Like that. And what happens now is it started Jupyter Notebook remotely on this remote code spaces, but we can use it locally. For that, I can see ports here, because like the name is very long, that's why I, it's kind of hidden. But there is this thing called ports, and it automatically detected that there is something running on port 8888, and it forwarded it to my uh, local machine, to my host machine. So right now, if I open this, it redirects me to Jupyter. And I, what I can do is I can simply take the token from here or the entire URL and paste it here. So now I have Jupyter uh, here and I can create a new, well, I cannot really create a new folder here, but what I can do is I can just create a new folder here. Let's call it um, 01 intro. And then yeah, if I refresh, I can see it here. And then I can, can create a new notebook. So here, uh, select, I will rename it. Can I not rename it? OK. Well, we will rename it later. Uh, and then here we already have pandas, for example. Import pandas as PD. And now for homework, you need to do read CSV. Um, and then uh, what was that in the homework? Yeah, uh, typo. 2024. So this is the file we use. So we can already read it. And then, um, so this is um, how you do this. And now you finish your homework. And let me close it. I'll also rename the file. I don't know why I cannot do this from Jupyter Notebook, but I'll call it homework. You can also install Python extension. And by the way, uh, one of the things I forgot to mention is when you first launch VS Desktop, it will prompt you to install an extension for uh, code spaces. If it doesn't do this, you can go to extensions and go uh, look for code spaces here. So here you have it, GitHub code spaces. Um, so you need that in order to connect to a remote instance. Okay, now we have the homework. And uh, yeah, I will just create another terminal by pressing this plus button. And see, okay, we have this new file. We will edit. Uh, we will commit it as homework. And we push it. So now our homework is done, hopefully. So we have it here have our homework here and then we go to uh, courses machine learning zoom camp, uh, machine learning zoom camp the first homework we fill in all the answers and we put this here as our homework URL right and click submit so this is how you configure environment this is how you submit homework and I hope it's useful and uh, enjoy the course